I'm cloudy and today I don't want to do anything serious but this is kind of a serious topic because recently I see a lot of brands they are releasing new eyeshadow palettes with the mauve rosy color story and you know if you know me maybe you don't but that is my favorite color story something leaning rosy and you know has purple quality in it i love it and let alone rosy pinky mauve they are so easy to wear on daily basis i cannot say that i am not tempted by those but do i need all of them i can name you a few even like older palettes i have like 10 palettes on my wish list that is like that color story um and the newer ones such as the sigma new mod palette uh the patrick tar the major dimension the one from i believe artist couture the supreme moth palette and you know there are others color pops i'm still thinking about the mickey mobs palette um what else can i think of something i think those are colors they released like a few new palettes and they look gorgeous like i'm not taking any credit from the beauty of all of those palettes but I know it's a mentality that you want to buy the thing that you know that you are using but already looking at your collection you already bought them the thing that you use so why don't you use them before buying a new one so today I'm gonna sit down and film a makeup look to remind myself that this is, isn't the right time to purchase a new palette maybe not today next month probably or maybe a few months later i could consider about getting one of those but right now right at the moment okay i'm still thinking about the natasha denona retro palette just like it just popped up in my head yeah that's how much i love that color story it's just so me but it's me it doesn't mean i have to like take them all in you know Let's get back to my collection. Today I'm gonna film a look using my two eyeshadow palette that has that sort of color story. One is the Fairy Tale Storybook Cosmetics uh, Little Briar Rose. Okay, Briar, Briar, <laughs> I don't know. And the color story is like this. It's not entirely mommy. But I think half of the shades are very, you know, neutral and rosy and bright rose. That just doesn't, that's the reason why I think of this palette right away. And let's talk about an iconic palette, the ABH Modern Renaissance. I think this is like the epitome of a rosy, mauve, warm tone palette. And it's look like this. Uh... So maybe I'm going to use some matte shades in this palette and the shimmer in the storybook palette. I don't have anything in mind yet, so I'm going to just play with makeup and yeah, to see. Do I really think about all of those palettes in the market right now when I have these? These two and more and more in my palette. Sometimes we see the shades scattering around our collection and it doesn't appear to be cohesive <laughs> so maybe we should take an extra step go an extra mile to gather them up to brainstorm a color story and laying a few palette in front of our eyes and try to use them collectively i think it's a problem of a good color story versus a color story that you can make if you put an extra effort looking into what you have so 
So it's your decision. If you want to go buy a palette that have a cohesive color story, or you can just sit down and play with a individual pen. But you know, it's not gonna be like easy to look at because they come in different shapes and from different you know layout like this. But I I don't know. It's it's just. You know, we are hungry by our eyes. That's what we are usually saying in Vietnamese. When you go to a restaurant and you want to order everything looking at the menu rather than you know how hungry you are. I hope it's a good analogy. Do I want to do like a deeper look? Because like I showed you with a shimmer shade called Beauty in the other palette is very deep. Why do I have a feeling that this shade is a little bit hard to blend? I can see like a harsh line. And maybe the thing that I need to do is to keep blending. Okay, let's dip into a deeper shade called Love Lettered. Yeah, I'm gonna go bold today. Like, no one stop me, I'm gonna go so bold. Day. Okay, I'm gonna leave it this way for the time being. I'm gonna apply the shimmer shade to see. Oh, this one is beautiful, but it's deep. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna put it like on the half of my lid. It's really pretty. Hmm. I think I have slab on the Storybook Cosmetics palette. It's a beautiful one, that's why I bought it. But like, mm. it's like to be more specific, I slap on uh, this shade not the entire palette the palette is still good in my opinion i've used it enough to know that it's like great quality i'm dipping back into the shade like the first light shade to blend out the edges a little bit it's done for now for the upper lid and i'm gonna do my lower lash i think the shade antique bronze this in here oh it's, it's like a mauve bronze it's interesting oh my god see i have slapped on my own palette oh god oh it looks so good Can you see that? It looks really nice. Okay, I have fallout right in here. So that's okay. I'm gonna clean it later. Oh, but this shade. How to say it's so interesting. I don't like bronze like often. You know, sometimes I do a bronze look and that's okay, but it's not like my very first option to do an eye look with. Oh, but this one, it has like a rosy mauve undertone and it's... Ooh. Okay. It can be the first time that I compliment on a neutral shade. This neutral level with the word stunning. Breathtaking. Okay, I want to do something lighter at the inner corner. So maybe using this shade called Enchantic, this one, to my inner corner. Okay, the shimmers are very good. I'm surprised. Why am I surprised? I'm gonna repeat the same procedure for this eye 
um, doing some liner using the darker shade in maybe one of the palettes to create like a wing liner and we're gonna go back and do something interesting I already have my bronzer and highlighter on I want to go on camera and do the blush because blush is just like another weak point of me just as much as eyeshadow palettes I want to have more and more blush in the same color family which is ridiculous I want something that is neutrally pink with purple or berry undertoned and yeah that's my go-to shade and I have these shades in my collection it's not like I don't have any of that shade and I want to test it out I already have the shade the the color that I want in multiple blushes but still I want them um, so today I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna mix the shade uh, Spindle and Thorned this like nudie pink and more the the mauve shade how can I describe it I think it's mauve but it's like grayish mauve I'm gonna mix the two shades to see uh, what kind of yeah like like my description mixing the two will give me like a perfect combination of that sort of color right um, so maybe let's try it out it's gonna be something like this okay there's another stand of another color but it's okay this is what we got let's apply that it's quite matching with the eye look you can tell that sort of like very rosy color hmm mm, I feel like it okay show eyeshadow is blush it's gonna be quite pigmented you can already tell Just be careful, just do a little bit at a time and you will never go wrong. But I don't mind at all, I love applying a lot of blush anyway. Bringing it to my entire face. The next thing is a lipstick and okay, it's like a vicious circle. I want to mauvey pinky berry rosy whatever i look and then i want something uh correspondent to the cheek and then the lips i want something like that has like a very similar vibe like staying in the same color family but then i don't need it i have lipsticks plural in my collection that i can maneuver to what extend to what deepness to what like darker shade or undertone that I like using other shades of lipstick in my collection so it's I don't know I don't know why we are in the game that we have to buy every single new formula new shades in the market it's okay it's like it's totally up to you to buy something that intrinsically adds value to your collection because you think it's new you think it will bring you a next level of experience in using it it's fine but have you already experienced it like you bought something very similar once you knew that you got there just the marketing strategy that tricks you into believing that you have not uh, I pull out this uh, Maybelline lipstick in the shade touch of spiced yeah it's beautiful uh. 
I just applied it like this and then try to spread it out like ombre effect. This, this is my favorite color to wear. It's a lipstick. But here's the thing, I want to make it a little bit more purple. So I'm gonna use this uh, NYX lip palette, lip cream in the shade The Plum. And I have like six shades in here. It's very like, it's a thick cream formula, like matte. I'm gonna use it like it's a mixing medium, not like you. <laughs> it's a little bit thick and heavy to use. Uh, for the entire lip but mixing it like put it a little bit at the center of your lip will elevate the look like just me i'm gonna use uh maybe this one here a bit cool toned yeah i know my lip brush is really gross because i've been using this palette for two weeks right now and like I use another lipstick and then mix it with one of the shades in the palette uh, and that's like my go-to thing to do the maple lipstick and a little hint of purple perfections I love this look so much and at the end of the day, do I need another mauve rosy palette? No. Do I want one and more? Yes. Do I consider to buy one in the future? Yes, because that is like the whole trying and testing new thing when it comes to makeup. I want to try new formulation from different brands, especially the brands that people seem to love a lot like yeah and something new isn't that bad but maybe before that i need to uh reuse a lot of eyeshadow palettes in my collection that i have been forgetting before truly see the novelty in a new one right now i want to see that extreme level of novelty in the palette to really come to a conclusion that this is my new gem and I need to add it into my eyeshadow palette collection. It applies to every other category or every single aspect of my life right now. And I, I think right now it's a good thing to practice. And I hope I can make it. <laughs> Once again, I'm cloudy and hopefully we see each other again. Bye.